Hello everyone, welcome to Relationship Talk with Sharonda Parker. My name is Sharonda Parker and I am here with... I'm Spencer Parker, <laughs> Sharonda Parker husband. And today we're going to talk about this um, trending topic of uh, genital pampering. I don't want to specifically yeah, say... Want to yeah, I'm going to say genital pampering because the reason why is because... I could say um, vajayshu, but then I want to be inclusive because the real question is, <laughs> what happens if he want to get that dick pampered? That's the real question. That's the real question. That's the real question. So, if you follow my page, um, my my platforms, this week we have been talking about. Um, of course, ladies are going to get waxed. A lot of times they're doing it. Um, um, because they don't want to shave or it's a cleaner look or hygienic self-care whatever the case may be whatever reason they choosing to get waxed okay fine so then there's a optional service called the vajayshu now from my understanding and i'm saying from my understanding each um professional that does the vajayshu some of them are doing them quite different than others. Well, there was one that started trending on the internet and I showed the video to my husband. And what did you have to say about the video? Cause I want them to hear from you. I was wondering who got locked up behind the video because it just looked like a whole bunch of illegal shit going on. Well, I think she was like doing her job cause I think the woman paid her to get all up in there. You yeah, know, but with the- I mean, at a certain point in time, you gotta have some boundaries and some some sense to say, you know what, this ain't it. I'm gonna be honest. I put the video up in the Facebook group. I have a all ladies Facebook group relationship. Talk with Sharonda Parker. That's the group. And a lot of ladies was like, some ladies were taken back. They were just like, wait, whoa, this is a bit much. But then I had other ladies that was very intrigued and they was like, where do I sign up to get this type of service? Because I can see myself like having multiple orgasms on the table. Exactly. <laughs> the service is not for you to go and get multiple orgasms. No, it's supposed to be for ingrown hairs and um, to make sure they exfoliate. And that's the okay. supposed to be the purpose of okay, it. Okay, so. Let me put the shoe on the other foot, right? Okay, here. come I'm on. I'm gonna go and get the vajayshas and stuff like that. So, you got men. Uh huh. You know they want to get in on the on the process. They want to get exfoliated. So that vo that that video that I seen, you showed me. It, a man in that same situation will have a woman, preferably a woman, in between his legs. She's stroking. Stroking in. And, you know, yeah. exfoliating the skin, his male member, the skin. Yeah. How many of y'all gonna be okay with that shit? Well, I, I, you know, I asked that question too, and the lady said, "Well, she don't see the problem if it's being done by a professional." <laughs> I'm, I'm not gonna even. Be, I'm not gonna even. Feel, I'm not gonna be. But for the most part, I'm gonna be honest. For the most part, when I asked the, I showed the video, and then all the women was like, "Oh my god." But then the next question was asked, well, what if your man wanted to get this type of service done? And I'm going to be honest, like 90% of the women all collectively said, I'm the only one exfoliating his dick. Ain't nobody else exfoliating his dick. So, so my question is, what makes it okay for one versus the other? Nothing. It's just a double standard that, you, that, that they didn't establish. Oh, yeah, is it because be they say we have babies and we used no, to people it's, looking it's, in there and listen, we used to okay. This this is the this is the situation. That shit shouldn't be going on. Okay. Because to me, everything that a person was doing in that situation mm -hmm. was something that you could do yourself. So basically, because when we were talking about it, you was like, look, 
If you need it to be exfoliated, just call me up in that bathroom and I'll scrub it for you. I'll yeah, exfoliate I mean, it for you. I mean, people talk about like, and they, 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 people are good for trying to sell you something. I'm not saying it's a gimmick. The but vagina is a big business, but baby. It's they big advertising business. to you, right? Mm -hmm. So if I could advertise something to you that could could possibly take off and sell, and all I got to do is, you know, be able to stomach playing with women's vaginas all day which they might actually like they may enjoy it you know what i'm saying so i'm just like i don't i don't i don't feel comfortable with my wife going and get something done like that i don't care who doing it man woman professional professional non-professional like i don't think that's even legal here when men do that when men go to the massage parlor and they ask for the extra services like how the women have mm -hmm. The police go in and they arrest they, them and they in, shut the shop down and they shut the shop down because there's prostitution that's illegal. So I'm just trying to figure out like where's the where, line? Where, where's the line drawn? Because most men, when you get the plan with them, they gonna get an erection. They gonna get an erection whether they trying to or not. Right. So that was another question that I asked because you know I do have healthcare professionals in the group. I do have massage therapists in the group, and yeah. they brought it to my attention that sometimes when they are servicing their um clients or especially when she says she does the physicals for the boys is going to football and it requires for her to touch their testicles a lot of times they get an erection well she have to step out the room and let them gather themselves and let them know that it's perfectly normal for that to happen you know that lets you know that everything is working the way it needs to basically so the kids won't feel bad about yeah, it but because it could be embarrassing it can be very embarrassing but and that was from a nurse practitioner and she was basically like, so the erection does happen. Even the ladies that's doing the massages, they even said that sometimes they do get an erection. Some men actually, um, you know, moan and all kind of stuff and they have to stop and separate themselves. So if you're going to get your dick exfoliated and you get an erection, at this point does the person, the professional, do they get offended? And then do they just completely stop your service that you pay for? It, would that be considered discrimination? Because they don't stop for the women. Like it's so much more that goes into if the man was to get it done. What if your man going to get his dick exfoliated every week? <laughs> Woo child, <laughs> that's a lot. Yeah. That's a whole lot. You see what I'm saying? Especially like, if you ain't available. I mean, Ooh, that just got ugly. Yeah, going to get it. <laughs> that just got real ugly. Mm. But another thing is, you know, a lot of men, when I put the video up on my regular platform, not in the group, they just kind of felt like they were enlightened because they didn't even know that these type of services existed for women. But even with women, it's mm -hmm. like, it's like weird because a man can't go sit down like me. I'm not going to go sit down and let another man do a, that type of service to me, right? Right. But even with a woman doing that type of service to, for me, right? Mm -hmm. It would be very uncomfortable for me. Like, it it, it wouldn't be something that I would want to go and lay down and enjoy That'd doing unless... Though, but I promise you, you're different. Unless I had a sexual intent. Yeah, a lot of men that go in, they going in with a sexual intent and, and they like my play with this point. thing for that's me. That's my whole point. Tug it, like, exfoliate it, do it. And that's my whole picture <laughs> for the women. Like, you in whole relationships out here and doing what you do, but you going let them exfoliate. What a way that lady was doing it. Yeah, it was... Exfoliate. She was exfoliating. Your pussy, but I'm knowing if I was a man, and this is what I was going like my intentions would. Well, I think the be, women go because they go, think it feel good. Go when women go get tub, facials, no. when we go get facials done, of course it's skincare. But we love oh, for man. people to massage our temples go ahead and, and dig the hole deep. Yeah, well, I'm just so saying, ain't nobody supposed to be massaging the, that pussy, but your man. Oh God. Oh yo. <laughs> Or whoever the fuck you choose to be with. Ain't no You saying the intent. Ain't no professional. Mm -hmm. Nurse practitioner. Doctor. O B G Y N. R N Q like none of the alphabets <laughs> supposed to be playing with your pussy 
Like it's a motherfucker. I ain't gonna lie, she was like every now and then I seen her like it was like she was going in between the creases and folds and in the inside yeah, of the lips she and had the, the, she had she got was, the whole wishbone anatomy of the yeah, she, was she was she was she was touching everything. Just, she she cheated. If she oh, did goodness. She no, she didn't. Did. Did. She it was what's her intent to cheat? She busted nut. I ain't gonna lie, I was like, I would love for Spencer to do that to me like that. That looks interesting. I uh, know. That's what that, I'm saying. Yeah, like, I would definitely but then another thing that go and get that done by other well, people. Well, you know, one thing that um <laughs> that it brought to the forefront with a lot of men that saw the video and they said, Well, if you want this done, just say this what you want. And I will gladly do this for you, or we could do each other, and we could do some central exfoliating to each other. And it's not a problem. No, that's the whole point. That's the whole crazy. I think point. I would definitely like enjoy you that, would, that you, sensual you exfoliation. You would go out and, and 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 do that and get somebody to do that for you, but you can have that same. You can have that experience at home. Yeah, because I'm pretty sure if you're going to get it cleaned up and shaved up, that's what he like. So I'm pretty sure he'll help the, in the process. You know yeah, what I'm ladies. First of all, before you decide to go and get um, additional services, I think that it's only wise for you to have a conversation with the person that you with and say, yes, I'm going to get waxed. I'm going to get steamed. But how would you feel if I was to actually go and get a vajayshow and get it exfoliated and get ingrown hairs removed and all of the other stuff. Cause a lot of ladies said that they just deal with the mound, that they don't know what this yeah, particular that's woman that's was doing. Fine, but can I, can I take it a step further? Please do. Ladies, before you go and get a vajayshul or anything, before you even have that conversation with your significant other about going to get a vajayshul or whatever the fuck you call it, <laughs> just think about if you would want somebody doing the things that you thinking about going to do, somebody down there rubbing and tugging and pulling on your 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 man's male member, uh, your significant other private parts of genitalia, just think about them in that situation and how you think you would feel putting them in that situation. And that's all you got. That will give you the answer before you even take it to them. That's gonna give you your answer. What if you turn it into a woman getting this done by a man. Oh, that's a whole nother show. Or a man getting this done by a man. Whole nother show. Like you have to think about all of these different angles and if it's not a universal yes, then you need to, you know what I'm saying, back mm. away from that and think about it. You know what I'm saying? And, and I like think that, about a it. universal yes. Yeah, if it's okay. not a universal yes, you need to think, back up and think about is this gonna offend or upset or do something to the person who I'm dealing with or something mm -hmm. like that, because it is definitely not a universal yes. It is definitely something that one person would frown upon while the other one would think is perfect. Everything, fine. right. Well, I think you pretty much summed it up for me. If you are looking for us, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube, which is Sharonda Parker. Make sure you click the notification button. Yeah. Make sure you like and share. Yeah. Um, make sure you register on our website, www.thepppgstore.com. And if you're local or in the Baton Rouge area, so happen to be visiting, make sure you stop by our store, the PPG store. The address is 9789 Florida Boulevard, Baton Rouge, Louisiana, 70815. Y'all yes. be blessed. Yes. <laughs>